it's exciting, isn't it? Getting an updated version of a beloved character, all new articulation and transformations, improved sculpts, better quality, there's no reason to think that an updated version won't be as good as the original. And yet, here we are, sitting with two Beast Wars Megatrons, the original 1996 version and the 2021 Kingdom release, and for the life of me, I can't think of a single decent way to decide which one is better. I say, <coughs> I say I can't think of a better way to decide which is better. Oh, right, so you want me to, uh, right, okay. <laughs> well, Gavin, what about a patented Quintesson system? Oh, that's actually a quite a good idea, thanks for the reminder. The Quintesson system is a five-pronged point system that looks at various categories to determine which beast is best. Those categories are posability, value, faithfulness, fun factor, and fiddleability. Whoever wins the most categories wins, it's as simple as that. So Repugnus, please get us started with the first round. Round 1. Posability. Now this is less of an unfair matchup than our first episode where we compared G1 Ultra Magnus to Kingdom, because the original Beast Wars Megatron has a good range of motion. There aren't many poses I couldn't get him into. Those articulated feet, they definitely help. Kingdom Megatron, however, it's definitely closer than the Magnus comparison, but the new toy still has the edge. That's nearly 25 years of engineering experience paying off. There's not a lot in it when they're in robot mode, but the difference is so clear when they're in the T-Rex forms. It's night and day. There's just so much personality in the new one. I wish those knees didn't look like giant bone spurs sticking out through his flesh, but it's a small price to pay. So for posability, Kingdom takes it. Round 2. Value. As much fun as the Kingdom Megatron is to mess around with, he's pretty much just a guy who turns into Robot from T-Rex and then back again. And that's still good, I mean it's very good, but when you look at what's packed into the original Beast Wars Megatron, you can't help but feel a little bit cheated. There's just so much going on here. First up we've got his mutant helmet. Uh, the two wings on each side of his head come together, they make this intimidating mask. Is it necessary? Absolutely not, but I love it. His tail arm has a lever in the elbow, pull on that and you get this incredible snapping motion. And his dinosaur head contains a little tank that you can fill with water and squirt. How cool is that? And yet there's more. On his hips you've got these side panels that fire missiles. What, 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 what more could you ask for here? Honestly, a wonderful amount of stuff packed in. It's an easy win for the OG. Round 3. Faithfulness. Now, Kingdom isn't out as a TV show yet, so it's hard to say how this Megatron will be characterised. Will he be a bold new leader for the Decepticons or the Predacons? Is he going to be a simple minion? You know, maybe something, dare I say it, a little different. But if we base this solely on the inspiration, the Beast Wars cartoon, then Kingdom Megatron wins easily. But that's only really because he's trying to be exactly Beast Wars Megatron. He doesn't have a ton of gimmicks to make compromises for. Still, it's that weird washed up lie look on the original, it's fair enough. Look, it was early days in the line, but it's just not right, is it? And as much as I love it, you know, the head wings, the proportions, they're not quite there. So Kingdom takes this one. Round four, fun factor. Now, we've been over the gimmicks side of things, which original Megatron clearly has the edge, but it's something you'll want to play with as a kid's toy for daft babies. Who wins when you're looking for an extended bit of play? Now again, maybe there's a recency bias here, but I do want to play with Kingdom more. I have these fellas standing next to each other on the shelf, and it's just how close he is to the TV show that makes messing around with him a joy. That said, the original toy, it's got so much entertainment value, it's weird, I spend more time with the Kingdom toy, but I have a better time with the original. So the old fella takes fun factor. Round 5. Fiddle Ability now when it comes to taking them down off the shelf, or just having them on your desk, which one of these toys is better for just a quick burst of joy? Who's better to fiddle with absent-mindedly as you go on your 10th Zoom call of the day? Kingdom Megatron's transformation is pretty complex, and there's a lot of tabs and parts popping all over the place. It's not difficult as a transformation, but it's just enough to make you think twice about picking them up. Still, it's worth it for both of those modes, and it's hard to imagine how they could improve upon this anytime soon, besides maybe adding in a squirt gun. The original is much simpler, but being a product of its time, it's brittle, it's squeaky, all around it's less fun to get those shells aligned and snapping together. It's a pain in the arse in a different way from the Kingdom release. 
So yeah, I'd say I feel more satisfied taking Kingdom down for a spin for five minutes, even if the original can do more. So with that, Kingdom Megatron takes fiddle ability. So that's that. We have our winner. Congratulations to Kingdom Megatron. And now we know. We know Kingdom Megatron takes the edge over the original, but only just. It's a very close call. And has all that time really improved on the character that much? Maybe not. The original Beast Wars Megatron is still tons of fun, enough for me to actually pre-order the re-release that's coming out simply because of the more accurate colour scheme. I cannot recommend it highly enough. But Kingdom is now the definitive version of this incarnation. Remember that because it's legally binding. If anyone asks, you have to say that's the case. What was that? Is that someone? Someone's at the back door, hold on. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this, the Repugnus family reunion. Alright, okay, well you better come in then. Yay! Woo! Yeah! 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 Yeah, about fucking time. Come on, boys, let's burn this place down to the ground! Wait, hold on, what? 